Hello, this is Massimo and in this video I'm gonna talk about scenes. In QC Plus there's a several number of uh, function types and scene is the very basic building block type of function. Um, it can be created in version 5 in five different ways. Yes, five ways. So let's start to see um, the very basic um, way which looks like the way of creating scenes in version 4. So first of all, I'm going to select uh, some fixtures from the preview. I can select them manually like this, or I can basically select the group that I created before. And when I hit the Add button and New Scene, I instantly have added all my fixtures, all the selected fixtures to this new scene. If I open the bottom panel here, I can enable the channels that I want to change. I have some tools that I can use here, uh, like the CTO mixer, for example. And uh, if I control click the channel, I can copy the value to all the other uh, fixtures in the scene. I can also um, click on the fixture to jump directly on a, on a specific fixture. So this is basically very manual. Uh, you need to know basically the, the DMX values. Uh, it's very tedious. It's very long to, to do. So this is the old fashioned way of creating scenes. So let's have a look uh, if there is a better way of creating scenes. The second method is basically using uh, preset tools. As you probably have seen uh, in other videos, when I select some fixtures, I have some icons here that are enabled and these are basically the features of the selected group and uh, um, it can be different types of, of features. So for example, I want to create a scene for again the back group, let, let's say. Um, I can adjust for example the dimmers of all the fixtures, I can for example um, do it in a percentage. I can um, open the shutter for all the fixtures, but it was already open by default. I can choose a uh, position and here I can preview the fixtures uh, like they are uh, hanged uh, on the ceiling, on trusses. Then I have a powerful new color tool where I can select uh, basic colors or uh, from a full palette like this. Uh, even I can enter HTML values. If I have a white amber and a UV channels, they will appear here as uh, sliders, individual sliders. And I can also define some XML files with basically named colors that I that can be mnemonic, so it, it will be easier to recall them from here uh, directly like this. And again, I have also the possibility to define white amber and UV channels or switch to CMY mode. There's a lot of possibilities. And then again, I have my color wheels represented in, from the fixture. And then I have all the gobble wheels. And here you can actually see uh, how important it is to uh, do uh, good fixture definitions. Uh, because here you have instant access to all the, the wheels, the features of the fixture uh, very instantly, like this. And then I can have also a beam tool where I can decide the zoom value or whatever. So the once I have created all my scene, I can uh, work also in the 3D preview, for example. I'm not happy about the pan value. Okay, now I am basically a little bit less degrees. Okay, once you are happy about the look and feel you've created the scene you've created you can use this uh, guy here as you can see the number indicates how many channels basically i have touched on all my fixtures so i have eight fixtures basically i've touched 11 uh, channels for each fixture if i select less fixtures the number change because uh, it will uh, act on just the selected fixtures so I can select all my eight fixtures, open this big pop-up here. So I want to select, for example, only the 
a specific type of channel and this is the very powerful news of the um, channel damping, damping in uh, version 5. So for example I want to create a scene only about timbers. I can do this. I dump only the selected fixtures and for example I can do this. Dimmer at 75. Okay. And a new scene is created and I have my dimmers at 75%. The cool thing is that if I select again the fixtures, I can continue to create scenes like I want pan and tilt, so I want uh, position uh, front, for example. Okay, and then I will dump again, uh, for example, uh, shutter open. And then I can dump again and I will have my color, which was like... Uh, light blue, something like that. Okay. Um, one another cool feature is I'm not happy about the position as well. So I can select the, the scene. I can change my position. For example, I want them like this. And then I can dump and since I selected a scene, an existing scene, I can dump values directly on the existing scene. I will dump pan and tilt values. And here I have the new values selected. As you can see, uh, the position tool all already works in 16-bit mod bit modes if it finds uh, fine channels. Uh, so this is a very uh, quick and... Uh, easy way of creating scenes from tools. Uh, I have also, when I uh, basically switch to another um, group of fixtures, I can reset everything like this. And I can also uh, dump channels uh, from this view, if you want, if you prefer. Uh, for example, I want to dump values for this specific fixture, so I will double click it. I can change the, I don't know, the cobos, the dimmers, and again, the shutter, I want it open, and so on. So as you can see, it says, the DMX dump says, I have modified three channels. So if I dump from here, I can dump a, a new scene, for example, on a Sharpie, fixed, whatever, fixed, uh, fix the position or whatever it is, I can hit OK and I have um, a new um, scene with just one fixture and just three channels modified. That's another way of creating a scene. Uh, again, a little bit manual, but can still work if you have to touch exactly the MX values and so on. Um, another way, and this is really, really powerful and interesting and the news of uh, version 5, is the usage of uh, palettes. Palettes is a new concept, not for other consoles, but for QC+. So basically, a palette uh, is something that uh, defines uh, a basic feature. So uh, if I select, for example, all my moving heads, I can, again, uh, say I want to modify the dimmer. Uh, I want to go at... Uh, 60%, okay, and with this icon, I can create a new palette. So I will call this palette dimmer at 60%. I can also create a scene, but not yet. So this is the, the thing. Um, if I create an empty scene without this, and then I add to the scene all my moving heads and then I add to the scene my dimmer at 60%. Basically, I have created a really powerful scene because it acts on all the fixtures in this group and this is why it is important to also to create groups of fixtures and it will uh, look for the dimmer channel on each fixture in the group and it will, it will set it at 60%. So 
if I change my mind and I want to remove or add fixtures to the group, uh, this scene will still work. Or if I want to change fixtures because I go to another venue and the fixtures have changed, I can modify the group and this scene is still valid and it will do its job by setting dimmer at 60%. So if you don't believe me, I can... Um, okay, I haven't... I give it a name. Palette thing. Okay, so if I go to the uh, DMX view and I hit, okay, I need to reset all the channels that I've touched. If I hit play here, all my moving heads will go to um, 60%. And this is another way of creating a, a scene. The last way, which is also manual, but it can save you some time in some cases, is from the simple desk. So, for example, if you, um, again, um, change the value of, I don't know, the CTO mixer of uh, some fixtures, as, as you can see, there are two values modified here, and I can dump them from, uh, from here as well. So, for example, just the 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 select the fixture channels and I hit OK I will have my new uh, fixture which is uh, this one so these are the ways um, it always depends on the goal you want to achieve um, how fast you want to be uh, the channels you are modifying of of course there isn't a tool for each channel right now for each type of channel but if fixture definitions are really good and you can basically preview them here in the 3D view um, um, and you are happy with the scene, you can really dump uh, scenes directly from the preview. And that is why in version 5 the preview is a center uh, context because it's really important to see what you are doing uh, even without the fixtures connected. And when you are satisfied of the of the look and feel of your scene you can dump individual scene i will explain also why i have dumped um, and this is the good way of uh, creating a light show why i have dumped all my um, features in separated scenes because when you uh, create a modular show you will need separated features so you can group them together with another um, function called collection but I will explain it later so about scenes this is basically it for now and uh, thanks for watching ciao